That's just the intro. My name is Daryl. I play bone crushing guitar licks. And I'm a self taught Kumite warrior master. Kind of hurt my toe on that. I'm originally born and raised from Norwood, Ohio. Right now I'm living at my boy Jesse's girlfriend's grandma's house in North Hollywood. I moved to Los Angeles so I could be recognized as the greatest guitar player in the world and also to get my CD made. Primarily, I'm an axe man, but to make money, I'm working at AMPM, and at AMPM, I'm basically responsible for all the work activities that need to get done to make the convenience store operate. And pretty much when you're inside the store, uh, you can't get away with nothing. Uh, but when I go outside to sweep up because there's messes that get made outside, uh, that's a chance where I can practice some of my Kumite moves. Kumite warrior coming across the land. Kumite warrior. Yeah. The best part of the job is while well, I'm doing it, I can just work on lyrics. So, probably wrote three songs while I was here. Kumite Warrior is gonna make a stand. Kumite Warrior from an ancient land. Kumite Warrior is gonna take a stand. Kumite Warrior, ancient land. Kumite Warrior is going to take a stand. Shit. You know, at AM, PM, you get a lot of industry professionals come through. Like this one day, a dude from the Musicians Institute stopped by and bought some Skittles. And, you know, he's, ta he's learning about sound engineering. And, uh, you know, I need that on my new album. And uh, that dude was pretty cool. And one time this hot girl came in. She had a belly button ring, and that was cool too. Sometimes my boy Jesse stops by, and we just hang out and shit. You know, especially when he comes on my break. Those are probably my best breaks is when Jesse's there. Here you go, dude. Oh, tight. Yeah. Hey, watch out. Don't go in front of the windows because Jana's here. She's so fucking stupid. She thinks that she saw me give you a Milky Way dark chocolate candy bar last time. Really so fucking stupid. Yeah, she was in the bathroom. So there wasn't no way she could have seen it. Anyways, all I got you was two Snickers because she was watching me. So, and the Snickers is inside of there. And Jesse comes by and we hang out and it's cool, you know. We sword fight and practice our our karate moves and throw shit at the wall. Dude hit the lip of the roof. Fuck yeah. Oh, shit. And then we talk about industry shit too, like, you know, who's gonna do the backing vocals on track six of the Corpse of Law album. And you know, since it's talking about business, it's a tax write off. And that's good for the bottom line. Yeah. I'm not supposed to eat these because they say I'm allergic to peanuts. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, fucking Tiny's grandma fell asleep. I was, I was like, I said, snacks. Yeah. Which one do you want? I can't eat those big ones. I'll take the blue one and the white one. Let me get some of your drink, dude. Hurry up, dude. The outer part it tastes like candy's wearing off. What's up with that Friday shit, man? <clears throat> I think it's the same as like her fucking Mondays, which I ate. That shit was tight. I'll try a pink one this time. 
I don't think the pink one's kicked in yet, so I'll take a white one. Bon appetit. Yeah. You fucked that? I'm feeling it. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like lighter. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to fucking puke, too. <coughs> <coughs> Pepsi dudes get fucking pissed when they come. And shit's like this. That sucks you work here, you gotta clean up all this shit. They think he's a clerk, but they don't know he's a fucking, you know what I'm saying, bone crushing guitar playing, you know, mastermind and shit. You know, I'm his fucking manager. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Before they, they stopped letting me in the store, you know what I'm saying? I was telling them, you know what I'm saying, you need to give him a raise by like, you know, 12% or some shit. And uh, they weren't even having it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you don't even know what you got. I think. I bring a certain creativity to the job mm -hmm. uh, that's not necessarily in the description. Hell yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? What? What's up? What's going on? Not much. I would have helped you with your trade, but I just took a whole shitload of pills. Okay. In my free time, I like to hang out with my boy Jesse. Uh, but if he ain't around, then I hang out with myself, mostly. such activities as I hang out at the Guitar Center working on my music. I meet like-minded individuals. I once met a dude there who has a double bass pedal on his drum set. I also run errands to uh, get necessities that I need in my life. I also like to be one with my body and exercise my body. And I also drink drinks. Sometimes I burn cool shit that I find. Yeah, this is like my sanctuary where I come to like think and it's a place of solitude. I come up with a lot of my lyrics while I'm out here and uh, you know, sometimes I come out here like if somebody's in the bathroom and I need to piss, I come out here and piss. One time, um, well I never pooped out here, but one time I tried to but I got real nervous and couldn't do it. An ancient warrior once said that we're all just spirits that are floating in the wind. And I pretty much consider myself to be a modern day ancient warrior. And with that comes being a spirit that floats in the wind. So pretty much I expect that 
I, I can do whatever I want to do and currently that involves becoming the greatest guitar player in the world you know I'm going to probably be this generation's Ingwie Malmsteen or Zach Wild or Dimebag Daryl except they just going to call me Daryl Yeah, that's it.